Good day, I'm Tony. Good day. Good day. And good day. I'm Linda. What are we throwing on the Barbie for this week? I would say that with an Australian accent, but. Give it a shot. No. How about a brand new Doc Who Rocks? How are you managing your expectations? Giving up support or just living? And sometimes you gotta oil it up to make it taste good. Calling all docs. Who rock? Welcome to Docs Who Rock. This week's doc was submitted by Michelle Bryant. She says, my surgeon is Dr. Sina Matin from the Baylor Health Care System in Grapevine, Texas. He is a center of excellence physician who cares about his patients and insists on the best multidisciplinary personnel possible. Michelle went on to say, as an RN, I rarely see a doc who cares about and educates his patients like Dr. Matin. Michelle, congrats on being our first submitter. And Dr. Matin, congrats on being a doc who rocks. Oh yeah, and Michelle, be sure to send us your address and phone number to feedback at bariatrictv.com so we can have bariatric eating. Send out your gift basket. Everyone loves a gift basket. Now let's rock on into the dumping ground. In a data de vida, honey. I don't feel good. Welcome to the dumping ground. I recently received an email that simply stated, Dear Tony, can you tell me how tall you are, what you weighed before, and what you weigh now? Because when I reach goal, I want to look just like you. Can you tell me what you're wearing? <laughs> what color socks do you have on? Wow, that's really kind of sweet. It's a nice compliment. Yeah, but at the same time, it made me stop and think, why would someone want to look like me? And second of all, where is this person starting from? I mean, really, what if she's like four foot two inches and built like a pear, whereas I'm kind of a box or a banana? She'll never look like me. And why would anybody want to look like me? I'm old and used up. Is that realistic to want to look like me? Okay, wait, calm down. I think I get it. You're concerned that she may not be managing her weight loss surgery goals realistically. Exactly. I mean, we all do it. We dream about what it's like when we lose all the weight and life is so much better. And we sort of become the queens of denial on what we really will be left with after we lose 100, 120, 130, 150, and even 200 pounds. But then we lose all the weight and blam, we are so not happy with what we're stuck with. Well folks, lesson number one of not falling into the unfulfilled expectations trap is to have realistic expectations. Here's an example. If you're expecting to be down 100 pounds in 100 days, guess what? Ain't gonna happen. Just not realistic. But should you set your weight loss goals to be much lower? Yes, set them to be one or two pounds a week like any other weight loss program. That way, if you exceed that number, you won't be disappointed and you won't start playing the blame, shame, and worry game with yourself. Do you expect to be one of the fortunate ones whose skin snaps back and you look like you never had an obesity problem? This is an unreal expectation. You need to realize that there are a few that get that lucky, but the vast majority of us don't, and we'll have some saggy skin problems. So expect them, freaks. Plan for them by looking into good support garments and other fun ways to hide the baggy skin. I don't know of any fun ways to hide, bag hide baggy skin, but plan for the fun ways. <laughs> you can have a hide the baggy skin party. That, or start right now, saving for your plastics. Compression garments. Diva Tanya is an expert at compression garments. Go find her. That leads us to lesson number two on managing your expectations. Always leave an opening for the unexpected. Say you find someone online who's the same weight, same height as you, and you follow her blog religiously, you then have the same surgery, but wait, she's losing faster than you are. What? What the heck? Why is that? WTF? How could it be? I don't know. You can't do that to yourself. When you're planning, predicting, or forecasting your life forward, you can't compare and expect to be on the same track as others. You gotta realize that you're different. We're all different. We eat different, we exercise different, we metabolize different. Sometimes you may even be pleasantly surprised because you may have it easier or lose weight quicker. You might be the special one. Listen, I'm a planner. Heck, it's what I do for a living. The biggest lesson I learned is why it's okay to set some expectations. It's even more important to understand the most likely the outcome of what you will get will change somewhere along the way. Those expectations end up going out the proverbial window anyway. Be flexible, people. So manage those expectations you do have carefully. Unfulfilled expectations often lead to feeling bad 
lower self-esteem, and self-sabotage. Don't let that happen to you. Have fun and enjoy, because it really is one hell of a crazy ride to altering your reality. Anyone who's been around the weight loss surgery community for any length of time knows that people are here and then they're gone. Why? Why do they leave us though? Is it my breath? No, I don't think so. I showered and I put on deodorant. Can't be that. No, I don't think it has anything to do with us or anyone on our forums anyway. Well, maybe it does sometimes. You know, disagreements, flaming, I think we've all seen some of that on other forums. Not ours though, nope. Not here. Nope, 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 nope. I think in a majority of cases, people are on a forum morning, noon, and night, doing research about their possible surgery. What to prepare for with their upcoming surgery. And how to live their lives after their surgery. There may be issues or challenges, a new way of life to get used to, and finally, the wait is off. And people start living their lives. They stop wanting to live their life through their keyboard and get out into the real world. And then we lose them. Poof, they're gone. Believe me. We know what that's like, but hopefully if you're not here, you're getting your support somewhere. There are people who have surgery, lose the weight, and never look back. But most of them need a hand to hold, so to speak. Then there are those folks that are on the forums and maybe start gaining a little weight back, or are ashamed to come back and admit that maybe those 100 pounds weren't gone forever. Folks, you will never get judged here. Tony and I know, oh boy do we know, how hard it is to keep your weight off. There is never a reason to feel ashamed of who you are to feel that you can't come back and ask for help. This is a support forum. We love hearing all the great stories, but we're also here for the not so good stories. For all of you who have come and gone and maybe want to come back. But even if you're out there and you're doing swell, let us know, we miss you guys and gals. All of you. If you're out there, have posted a time or two, have posted a lot or have never posted, come talk to us. We'd love to hear from you. Believe it or not, keeping in touch with you freaks keeps Linda and myself freaking on. Hey Tone, remember when we did that review of the salt farm? Yep, awesome flavors. I use them all the time. What is it about surgery that makes us want more, more, more flavors in everything we eat? Flavor Flav! Probably because we eat such small portions, we really want them to be full of flavor. Well, last week I was wandering around in some local shops and went into a little place called Taste of Oils. And what did you find in this oily place? Flavored olive oils and balsamic vinegar. My daughter's friend, Haley, works there, and she had me taste some pairings that I would have never tried on my own. Oh yeah, like what? Blood orange oil with dark chocolate balsamic for one. It was really good. I don't know, that doesn't sound very good. Not for oil and vinegar anyway. That's what my mom said too, she was like, ew, and then I gave her some and she went, mmm. <laughs> Taste of Oil has an online store available at CoronadoTasteofOils.com, full of tasty oil flavors such as chipotle, cilantro roasted onion, Persian lime, butter, and Tuscan herb. They also have great balsamics such as black cherry, cinnamon pear, fig, honey ginger, jalapeno, on and on and on. They also offer up specialty pastas like roasted red bell pepper fettuccine, very chili linguine, and several others. You can also find herbal salts, pestos, and different types of gourmet oils, like white truffle oil. Freaks, if you do an internet search for specialty oils, you might be able to find a business in your town where you can go in and taste before you buy. But if you don't have something locally, you might want to give Taste of Oils a try. I have a little problem, though. Yeah, what's that? Well, these oil and vinegars are so tasty, but I seem to only want to use them on bread. And too much bread is a big no-no. Oh, that's a no-no. Well, why don't we toss it to our freaks? Freaks, do you have a WLS friendly recipe idea using a flavored oil or balsamic vinegar? Or both? If you do, send that recipe idea to feedback at bariatrictv.com. Dear Bariatric TV, get your flavored oils, get naked, and get a twister game. If we pick your recipe, we'll make it in an upcoming show and send you something as a prize. There, you will for sure get some great ideas because our freaks are the best. Well, that's it. Another fun filled week down. Yep, we gotta go. Come to fly, to leave, to take off, to turn away, to burn rubber, to vacate, to... Yeah, okay, enough. You guys, don't forget to send us your show ideas and product recommendations to feedback at bariatrictv.com or post them in the forums at bariatrictv.com forward slash forum. And visit us at btvstore.com to order up your bariatric goodies. And keep those drop zone and docked.
to rock submissions coming, along with your entries to feedback at bariatrictv.com. To exit, to split, to depart, whatever. You know, I'm not going to have any bloopers because nobody's making any mistakes. So. Any mistakes. Sometimes you may even be pleasantly surprised because you may be the one having it easier or losing the weight quicker. Yeah. <laughs> so take that. <laughs> I rarely see a doc who cares about and educates his... If we pick your recipe, we'll make it... Bleh. Honey ginger, jalapeno, jalapeno on a stick. If we pick your recipe, we'll make it in an upcoming show and send you something at a pro. They also up. There you go. Well, there you go. I don't have to worry about bloopers anymore. <laughs>